Hi friends, this is Nirmal from Nandan M Exotics, and I welcome you all to yet another episode. Today we'll be looking at Camphoria gingers or Peacock gingers. Uh, they are also called as Resurrection ginger, uh, Aromatic ginger, etc. So stay tuned for their care and culture. So Camphoria belongs to the ginger family which is Gingivaraceae and you can find several species which have different leaf form as well as flowers and they are all decorative you can grow them as a indoor plant as well as in the garden This ginger is commonly called peacock ginger due to the fact that its leaves are dark green to almost bronzy green with silver patterns on it uh, it also resembles the leaf of a maranthe or calathea The flowers on the other hand looks like impatience So Camphoria or Camphoria pulchra as this particular one is called is actually found native to Asian countries and strictly tropical rainforests. They are seen on the floor of the forest so they are not used to a lot of light. So it's always recommended to grow Camphorias in a very shaded part of the garden. If you are a indoor gardener, a eastern window will be your best option. Growing them under higher light or even under direct sun can be very bad for the plant. The leaves can easily be scorched or sunburned. Camphorias are adored by gardeners and landscapers all around the world for their ability to produce beautiful leaves at the same time a gorgeous flower. It's rare to find shade loving plants that give you a lot of flower. So in that regard this plant is very beneficial to add some color into the shade garden. So the bud like structure that you see in between the leaf is the bract from which new flower buds emerge what you're seeing right now is a fresh bud that will open the next morning the blooms only last for a single day but the plant keeps on producing new buds and uh, the flowers keep on coming till the end of the season So friends I hope you guys love plants just as much as I do and I hope you enjoy my videos if you are still not a subscriber consider subscribing also press the bell notification buttons for future updates from the channel So friends now we look at how the plant grows like any other ginger they have a rhizome that is running underneath the soil and new growth emerges from the rhizome whenever you repot your plant into a larger pot you can take divisions from the root ball and propagate your plant So friends unlike gingers that grow very tall and vertical uh, camphorias grow horizontal and fill up the pot it's always preferable to grow them in a shallow pot with a wide mouth to enable them to spread So friends do consider checking out my Instagram page nandanam_exotics I regularly post there as well and you can also contact me for further inquiry regarding plants I showcase on the channel Camphorias in general do not require a lot of care if you give them the right kind of conditions Regular watering with a well draining soil and occasionally a organic feed will keep your camphorias very happy and thriving They do enjoy high humidity so in order to achieve this uh, regularly mist your plant or group plant them among other tropical plants to increase the relative humidity The last thing we'll be discussing about is dormancy the ginger goes dormant during winter seasons and withdraw watering during this period to avoid rotting So friends today's video was about this beautiful tropical ginger called a camphoria ginger. Uh, I hope today's video was informative and I hope I inspired some of you to try out this plant in your collection. So until next time it's normal signing off. One final note about the plant is that they are medicinal and is extensively used in Indian traditional medicine called Ayurveda.